you want to do, you want to check the posts. With your stick. Boom, boom, boom. And when it's on the right side, I wait till my stick is off the post, about like right there, and then I stop. And I know I'm in position because I don't want to go short. It's called short side. I don't want to go short side. The second part is the crease. So the minute I'm on the crease, if I'm sliding across, I don't even have to look at the net. I don't have to look at any of this because I know where I'm at when I see the crease, right? So most goalies, if they're unsure, they'll do like a quick check. They'll see like where they're at. But you want to use this crease here to know where you're at. So if I'm here and I cut across, I know with the crease that I'm in line with the puck and my net at the same time. I'm not always going to make the save, but at least I know I'm in position. You know what I mean? So you, Leonardo, I want you to use the crease as your point of being in position. So you know where you're at. Okay? Step out. And I want your skates not past this, this line here. And I'm gonna, you're going to cradle the puck like we've been training, we've been working on, right? Butterfly. Come out. Boom. The puck shouldn't be going there, there, and everywhere else. It's going to go right to your gut. Okay? If it comes out, I'm going for the rebound. When I say go, I want your head to look, pop out, boom. Okay? What, what's rebounds all about? Rebounds is. A rebound is like puck hits and then comes back up. And what's the key? What's the key to rebound control? What it hits, you stop it. You stop it. Any chance of holding it. Why is it so difficult? Because some pucks hit back, so you have to move. You have to keep moving. Yeah. One thing that I trained to do was it was called a four point drill. Where you go one, two, three. Okay. So you're gonna start right here. Or you actually, you know, we'll start in the middle. I want you to turn your head like me. You'll see me. And if I break to one side, I want you to team push into the post and I'll come around on that side. If I do it the other side, I want you to turn your body. And go to the post. Okay? We'll try a couple. That's where he beats him because he's really smart. You got it. You saved it. You saved it. That was sweet, Leonardo. I like the reaction. Going in a little bit faster than probably kids your age would go, but I mean, that's still really good timing. When you see me move, Push into this post, okay? I got nowhere to go. Push, you want to lean into this post, like lean up against it. 
Okay? Right, just, just like that. They call that the Felix Poffing. The huh. Felix Poffing is he, he started with the paddle down like this. <laughs> it's called the Felix Poffing. If you're unsure where the puck's at, don't move, but I want you in that position because you, you're kind of doing this. And then your your weight is not distributed right in your body, so you're, you're doing like one of these. Okay, you're, you're kind of falling. So what I want you to do is lean forward with your with your butterfly. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And then you're not having to fall all over the place. This is called your short side. If, you, if you're on the side of the post, that's called your short side. So when you're out here, and the way I, how I was facing you, you want to be angled with the puck, not me. So you want to be angled with the puck. You want to cheat, it's called cheating, a little bit towards the puck. Okay? So you know who Jonathan Quick is, right? For the LA Kings? Okay, so I worked with his goalie coach, and the first thing that he told me that Jonathan Quick does when he trains on with, whether he saves it or the putt goes off to the side, I want you to follow the putt, wherever the putt goes. So position your here and you make a blocker save, I want you to follow the putt. There's no hesitation, there's no delay. We call it a delay. And Quick's delay time is perfect, 100%. Every time he makes the save, he follows the putt, wherever it goes. So if the putt goes into the corner, I want you to track the putt, okay? practice this. So, so if a player's coming in and you're and you're flat footed, meaning you can't it, it looks like you can't move but he can. It's the speed of the player, you have to match it with how you're going backwards. So if the player's coming in really fast, you have to match him by stepping out and then backing up with them so you match his speed. If he's going slow, you move with them slowly, right? So if you're moving side to side and he's coming across like how he did, you're supposed to follow him. One thing is let the player make the first move. You don't want to make the first move. So follow him across the crease, because he's going to have nowhere to go. If you're with him, he's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> right, you see the difference? You always want to be in position. So do what I just did. The skates, yeah, the skates. So you, can see, you can see the players. Yeah, he's struggling. You want to go boom, boom, across the crease. So if he's coming across, it's, he's got nowhere to go. Good, Leonardo. Yeah, that makes it hard, but he'll get stronger. Where I'm going with the puck. Perfect, perfect. Here that I want you to go on the ice. I want you to do your skating drills wherever you're at. Skate around. I also want you to do your eye movements on the ice. So find two points or find two pucks. Two points or two pucks. I want you to do fast eye movements back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's gonna. You have muscles behind your eyes. You want to train them for when you're in a real situation and there's a pass across. You can follow it and you can track it before the puck even gets to the other player. Okay. Like where he's gonna go? Yeah. So if you know he's going glove, are you gonna cheat to your glove? Do you drop your your leg down? Because that's what I do. No, I just normally cheat. Unless it gets a little low right here, then I could do like this. Yeah, your his thing is like this. He does one of these. Yeah. I go like this. So we're a little different. Yours is like that, but mine's like this. So if I go like this, I know he's going glove. If I can read him before he shoots. I, I know he's going to go glove, so I kind of favor this side. Of but if he goes five hole. Do... Of course, if he shoots a little 
high, I'm ready. The problem with that position is if you know if he's going glove, you're dropping your body down, then he can just go high glove. Because your glove is, is kind of like down here, right? You kind of do one of these. If you're up in the VH, you're blocking this whole side. So he's got nowhere to go other than your glove. But then you expose your five hole. So then, it, just like that. Video yeah, you, exactly. I read it wrong, and I, I thought he was going to go glove. I thought he was, but then he went five hole, and it would have just been easier if I just went in a butterfly, then it would, it would have been easy save. Right. But these are things that we have to read before they shoot the puck. Yeah. The teams that, when you get to higher levels, you're going to study your opponent. Because the more you know about your opponent, the easier it is to make the save. If, if a player's coming down on you in a breakaway, and you watch a video on them, and their favorite move is to go glove, you know they're going to go glove, you're going to favor that side. Okay, he's going to go, he's going to go glove, 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 and then boom, you're going to favor that side. Of course, the thing is that there's a lot of different players with different techniques. But for a player, when they're coming down, they have a move already in play. They know what they want to do. But for two goalie, moves. You usually have two moves, yeah. Two moves, one move, but when, when you You're cut something off... You're trying to do that person. When you cut the play off, when you cut them off from their original plan... Right, yeah. They fumble. They fumble. Because they're like, yeah. oh no, he knows where I'm going to go. Right. What do I do now? Right, do now, now I'm going to change exactly. it. You know what I mean? Everyone's got their move. Oh, oh, no. So when they're, when they're coming in doing this and they, and they get too close to you, right. usually most goalies, they do this. They're rock solid. They're not moving. Until, until they're close enough where you're in stick distance that you're going to be able to make the save now because they have not enough room to make as many moves as they want to make. Right, so yeah, they, they've close, lost their, their... They go fake, fake, like the triple deep and the two deep. You know where they're going to go. You're going to read your read, don't move, don't move, don't move, then pop, then move. Because they right. have nowhere to go. So you have to wait They have nowhere to go. You see everything they're doing. Yeah, because you got to be super patient. That's when the player gets frustrated. Some, sometimes I'll just be sitting like this in a position, yeah. and the player just shoots at me, and I'm like... <laughs> right. <laughs> what is there? That, yeah. that's, what, that's what we're training on out there. It's easy. Boom. I got it. Right. He, he doesn't move. He, he swallows the puck. He always swallows the puck. So when he comes into your gut right here, anywhere in this area, you want to consume it and cradle it like a, like, a, like a ball or something. You, if a ball's coming in, you want to you just grab it. You know what I mean? Like, same with the puck. You don't want it to pop out. Like if it went... No, you see him in the net, and yeah, you're like... Just like that. You see him in the net, yeah. Like you're getting punched like in the gut. You're getting punched in the gut. What do you do? You do this. Just go forward. That's all you have to do is like suck it in. Like... Because when it pops back out, that's when it's your fault. That's because, when the coach gets mad Because at you. then you don't get ready, and then they come. Because then right. when, when a player when sees the puck, the puck on the ice, they're going to come in. Oh, the rebound, rebound. The, the referee's not going to blow the whistle. They're going to try and jam it in. It's called yeah. a dirty goal. Yeah. That's why that's why coaches say we need the dirty goals. This goalie can't he's letting right. the rebound. Yeah.